Welcome to the Starling V2 first flight tutorial. These instructions assume that you have completed all prior steps in the Modal AI bootcamp. Begin by removing your Starlink from its protective case. Then remove all four of the propeller clips. For more information, please see the Starling hardware overview video. Before flight, manually inspect all four motors that they spin freely and that the propellers have not come loose but do still pivot freely on the motor bell housing. Finally, make sure that the propellers do not impede on any wires that may have come dislodged over time. And now we're ready to install the battery for our first flight. Start by grabbing the drone in one hand and then insert the battery into the forwardmost battery clip. Then press against the drone body and it will snap into place. Retain the balance plug in the balance plug clip off to the side. Then you can connect the XT30 power connector and return the clips under the battery wire clip holder. Now flip the drone right side up and you're ready for your first flight. After powering on your Starling development drone with a battery, we're going to connect to its Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to select from the list the factory default Voxel Wi-Fi network that the Starling is broadcasting with the password 12345678900. Now that that's connected, we can open Firefox or Chrome and then go to its default IP address at 192.168.8.1 and I'm going to pull up the QVIO overlay video stream so that we can inspect VIO performance before flight. Now with the QVIO overlay up on my laptop, I can pick the drone up in one steady motion and show it around the room while looking at the QVIO overlay and looking to see if it's picking up feature points and that the XYZ location is consistent and predictable. When you're happy that the environment is good and the exposure on the camera is good, we can place the drone back down for first flight don't worry about any flashing lights that you see when the drone is on the ground. This is the infrared time of flight sensor and it does not affect flight performance. Alright, now we're going to power on the radio and make sure that it's bound and connected to the Starling. First, let's pop the uh, antenna out on the radio and then to power it on, we're going to do a double press of the power button down here. One short press followed by a hold and then release. The radio will power on. When it connects, you'll see that the flashing blue light on the ELRS receiver on Starling will be solid. And you will see signal bars appear right here on the Commando 8 ELRS radio. If you buy a Starling ready to fly kit or a Commando 8 radio from Modal AI, it will ship with the following button configuration. The throttle stick will be self-centering. The top left push button will be the kill switch, such that when the button is out, the drone can fly, and that you depress the switch to kill power to the motors in an emergency scenario. The three position toggle switch here will be for mode switching. The current position where the button is all the way away from the user is manual flight mode. The middle position will be position flight mode and the final position toward the user is offboard flight mode, which comes out of the box configured to do a figure eight. Finally, the right two buttons are not assigned to any particular function and are open for the user to configure. Now, before our first flight, I'm gonna put the position switch back into manual mode and make sure that the kill switch is disengaged. Now we can put the radio back up and we're ready for our first flight. Now we're going to practice the arming and disarming routine in manual mode. First, we'll make sure that the left three position rocker switch is all the way away from the user, which you can see in Voxel Portal or Q Ground Control. Uh, we'll show manual mode flight. We're also going to make sure that the kill switch is disengaged. To arm the drone, we're going to pull the throttle stick all the way down and push it to the right. The propellers will start up. 
then we can hold all the way down into the left to disarm. Once the propellers have stopped, you can safely release the throttle stick. Now we're going to do the same thing, but practice an emergency kill. So we're going to make sure that the kill switch is first disengaged. We are still in manual mode and we're going to spin up the propellers with the arming sequence. Now hit the kill switch and you'll see that the propellers immediately lose power. Now the drone does not immediately disarm when you hit the kill switch and so when you disengage the kill switch make sure the throttle stick is all the way down as I'm showing right now. Once you see that the drone is in fact disarmed then you can gently release the throttle stick. All right, so now we're ready for our first manual mode flight. We're gonna make sure that the switch is already forward in manual mode and that either Vauxhall Portal or Q Ground Control show manual mode and ready to arm. We're gonna arm the drone by holding the stick down and to the right. And then once it's armed, gently raise the throttle and make sure that the drone is happy and flying. and disarm. All right, now that we're confident that VIO can see enough features in the room and that the drone is physically capable of smooth manual flight, we're going to move the toggle switch to the middle position. Voxel portal and or Q ground control should now show position hold flight mode. Now we can arm the drone. And when we raise the stick to the middle, the propeller should still be moving slowly. Raise the stick above midway and it will now take off. Let the drone hover in place and check that the QVI overlay is happy and showing good feature point recognition. Then we can try flying around. Try not to yaw in place too much like this. Instead, try to fly around by tr translating. This will ensure that new feature points get localized. And now to land, simply move the throttle stick all the way down and hold it down until it disarms. When we're confident that the drone is flying well in its environment with VIO position hold mode, we're now going to try the offboard figure eight mode. So mid flight, I'm going to rock the flight mode switch back toward me to put it in offboard mode. I'm going to take off and land in the middle position hold mode. So let's take off and then while I'm in the air, I'm going to move it to figure eight. Okay, so I'm going to fly around a little bit to make sure that it's happy. Seems to be holding well. So now I'm going to swap the switch into offboard mode. And now the drone will fly itself. When you're done, you can swap back to position mode and land. 